What's up, Throttlers? Aristotle, Full Throttle here to remind you to always make sure that you wash your hands and that you don't touch your face. <coughs> Officially, coronavirus has been ruled as a pandemic, but I've already got a jump start on staying in and not doing anything. Coronavirus is very serious and it can cause an illness called COVID-19, and you're at risk if you're very old or immunocompromised. So remember to wash your hands and you know, don't touch your face. Don't touch my face either. But if you're like the general public, you don't really have too much to worry about because this is me. And this is me with coronavirus. <coughs> LA has basically been a zombie town this last week and I've suddenly developed the craving for brains. Too bad there aren't any. But while you're home quarantining and making sure you're not licking any handrails, Thank goodness for streaming services, which all pretty much only have a couple shows that are watchable at any given time. So if this thing goes on for too long, we might all get bored to death. There's nothing on. But here's just a brief list of movies that I spent maybe 10 minutes putting together thinking about movies that are oddly watchable, where you can kind of watch them and you say, this movie's not that good, but I'm going to watch it because what other choice do I have? Here's one. Snakes on a Plane. That's a fun one. It's got one of my favorite ADR moments for when they air Snakes on a Plane on TV because of course there's a very famous line by Samuel L. Jackson with the snakes and the plane and the MF. But when it's on TV, he says this. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Makes perfect sense. Anaconda. That's the giant snake movie with J-Lo. Oddly watchable. John Voight's politics though? completely unwatchable. And if you have a hankering to watch the movie Rocky, or like a really good underdog type of movie, but with truck driving and arm wrestling, I suggest Over the Top. It's kind of really bad, actually. That movie is actually bad. But it's got Kenny Loggins on the soundtrack, which is an 80s great. You're not a legitimate 80s movie unless you have Kenny Loggins doing music on the soundtrack. I'm gonna make a video about that, actually, how Kenny Loggins scored the 80s for us. And here's a good one. It's a total classic. I don't know how good of a movie it is. This particular movie has a lot of appealing ideas to a 10-year-old, like skydiving, surfing, and bank robbing. Yes, of course, that movie is Point Break, starring the one and only Keanu Reeves. And of course, if you've got a movie with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze and Gary Busey and Lori Petty, it's gonna be watchable in some way or another. I was lucky enough to actually go see Point Break Live with my friends John and Erica. They're in the play. It was an exceptional experience and I suggest that anybody who's ever visiting LA to go check out Point Break Live because it's hilarious. They reenact the movie Point Break but they take the lead character that Keanu plays out of the audience that night. They cast the main role from the audience. And they make them read cue cards the whole time and they're skydiving and they're surfing and they're bank robbing. I talk all about that on Fan Story Podcast with my co-host Tara. John and Erica are our guests, so go check that out. And of course, if you're self-isolating or self-quarantining or you're sick with the coronavirus or you don't want to catch the coronavirus and you want to stay home and watch streaming videos, I suggest anything with Nicolas Cage, particularly Wicker Man. If you can get through that movie, you can get through coronavirus. I caught the Modelo virus. So if you guys have any suggestions for bad movies that are oddly watchable, let me know in the comments below. I was actually shocked and amazed that I liked the movie Spencer Confidential on Netflix. I thought I wasn't going to make it three minutes in. I watched the whole thing. I laughed out loud and I enjoyed it. But it's not that great. But it kind of knows what it is and that's what makes it fun. So you guys out there, know what you are, be who you are, because that's what makes you fun or not fun if you're not fun. If you don't like fun, we're done. We're done here. You do you. And if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment because that qualifies you to win a PS4 plus a video game for that PS4. I'm not gonna give you a Sega Genesis game with that PS4, unless you want it, but the cartridge won't fit. Remember to like and share these videos, just don't touch them. Don't rub them on your face. Don't touch my face either. And you can always donate to my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that below. I'm Aristotle Full Throttle, you bro in the know with the fro, and I'll see you later. Before you go clicking like, Remember to wash your little hand. Try not to touch anything, including your face. I done been washing my hands. Y'all are late to the party.